Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another look at yet another Ocean Games for the Atari ST. And this time we're going to have a look at Voyager, published in 1989. And I remember having a lot of fun with this one back in the day. It's a bit like an improved version of Battle Zone, you know, Atari's arcade game, but with flat shading instead of the see-through wireless graphics. And as I said, I really enjoyed this one, but for some reason I can't really remember too much about the gameplay. So it's going to be interesting to uh, reacquaint myself with this one. And of course the cover artwork was done by Bob Wakelin. And as often was the case, he has been inspired or been using other media for reference in the artwork. And the first part here is clearly from the Nostromo from the first Alien movie. And it's very clearly from the intro of the movie. And the other bit here is clearly the monitor you see when the Nostromo is landing on that godforsaken planet filled with alien eggs and no omelettes in sight. But hey, enough of that, let's dive into the game! And we've got an absolutely amazing title screen by Robert Hempel. Superb pixel art and I do believe this is his only contribution to the game. Someone else created the 3D graphics. And also I don't think this robo chick is actually in the game but hey, who cares. <laughs> also got some really cool music by Jonathan Dunn. Let's enjoy! And here we are on the menu screen and as you can see there's a fourth option saying enter cheat option so I'm just going to show you this. This version's got some cheats. We can get infinite shields and fuel and all the equipment. So uh, I might enable that later on after failing a bit so we'll see. <laughs> so let's just press fire and get going and check out the at the time really awesome looking um, 3D intro animation. I think this is actually rendered in real time of course in game. But I was amazed by this back in the day. Sadly no sound effects, but hey. And the animation looks a bit stiff today, but this was so cool. I was completely blown away by this. By I was so fascinated by anything 3D, anything like open world, like where I could fly around or explore an open world and blow stuff up, usually. <laughs> so apparently this game is about some aliens finding the Voyager probe and coming back to Earth and, you know, want to blow us up and invade us. So we can't have that. We're going to try and stop them. And we are driving along here in a tank. And we can control this game with the mouse, but I'm not going to do that because it is horrifically difficult to control. There's some issues with the mouse emulation of the mouse settings. I'm not sure because I cannot control the game properly. I'm just going to try and show you and we are being shot at. Something is after my blood here clearly and no, no, don't do that. Here we have some annoying little Tron what want to be. Oh, I missed the bastard. Okay, we can go forward and backwards. So that's cool. Let's do that a little bit. Right, just slow down. Ah, it's a, one of those filthy tanks. There's lots of plenty of mines and stuff. And the controls are just absolutely hopeless. As you can see, I'm just sliding around. It's so difficult. Lining yourself up, especially if you're firing upwards, then it's almost nigh on impossible. As you can see, I'm just going to the left there. I'm pushing right, nothing happens. And then all of a sudden I, come on, I overshoot usually. And yeah, this absolutely. Hopeless, and I don't think it's the game because I remember playing this with mouse controls and no problems. It's got to be something with these settings in the emulator or possibly Windows. I don't know, but I cannot aim up at that filthy Tron wannabe. I'm going to switch to keyboard because, or joystick rather because geez, <laughs> and there's some oddities here. Uh, there's something with the key bindings that's not working either because every time I slow down, I activate a radar missile for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, not not much to do about that. I'm sure that's going to be fine. Just blow these filthy things up. No, I keep missing. It's a lot easier doing joystick, I must say. Of course, you will be missing the analog controls a bit but it's just completely helpless. 
So, yeah, I'm not gonna lose my, my mind over this. Hang on, I think there's someone over there. Oh yeah, it's a tank. Come on, you filth monger! See if I can get the, yeah, much easier to aim upwards. Let me blow you up, sir. I think these filthy things will drop mines, and of course I missed. Let's back away. Oh, wrong button. And fire off a radar missile again. Oh god, look at those those guys. There's a whole bunch of them. Got one at least. And as you can see, this runs pretty smoothly. I mean, not perfectly. It's a little bit chuggy. The more enemies on screen you have. But I was amazed by this, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure how well it holds up today. And uh, we've got a lot of information we can get as well. Let me just see. We got we can get data on the moons, I think. Or oh, no, we can yeah check the currently fitted extras. I don't have anything exciting attached. And keep in mind the game keeps going. Check the radar. <laughs> so even though you are lollygagging around and looking at stuff. The game will keep going. So you can get data on the moon you're at. I think it's one of the moons of Jupiter. For some reason we are fighting the aliens there because they are amassing uh, their armies there, are building a fleet. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> but we've got a lot of information we can access here. And as you can see I've got atomic bombs, which is always great. I don't know what everything is. I have played it for a bit and um, yeah, it's uh, it's quite fun. Here's the mothership. I think the mothership might pick me up eventually. And we've also got a map of all the stuff that is going on. But let's return to the action here and see if we can find something to shoot. I don't know how we finish a level. If it's just like once you've blown up all the enemies, I presume, or if we need to destroy their installations. I think we can destroy most things. Well, maybe not. <laughs> let's shoot some of this stuff and see what happens. Not much. Come on, take it. Here we go. And that's a mine, I think, or something that will at least harm me. So let's blow it up. When in doubt, explode it. That, I think, is a collectible. Let's see if we can get it. Flashing thing, I think, is another type of mine. There are probably several kinds of mines, I guess. I have no clue what these things are. Probably not trees, right? <laughs> and here's another pickup. Let's see what that is. Probably the same thing as I picked up before. Power pyramids. All right. I always wanted one of those. Oop, someone is firing at me yet again. How predictable. Take that. And it's pretty cool that you can also see the um, the uh, shadows of the flying enemies. That's a pretty nice little touch. You can see there's something up there. Can't have that. So let's just slow down a little bit so they can catch up. Come on. Okay, okay. I am too fast. And we can also fly, actually. I'm not sure if I can do it right now, though. I'm going to get the tank because they are a little bit more dangerous. I think these guys will only drop mines on you and just generally be annoying. Could you please stop existing, sir? Let's see what this is. This looks like a hand grenade. Holy hand grenade, possibly. Let's see if we can pick it up. Side view cameras. Yes, we can have side view cameras. We can look left, right. And behind as well, I think, unless, of course, that doesn't work right now. Hmm. Need to pick up the cameras. Because why would I have all the equipment when they dump me into the action here? <laughs> I have to steal the enemy's tech. It's really cool that you can back away. Makes it a lot easier dealing with some of these guys. And what are you firing at, guys? Are you just... Oh, I think I may have dropped a decoy without realizing it, or maybe they are fighting each other, who knows? In fighting, you know? It looks like I can actually hit their... their missiles. Good news. Come on! I am hitting you! Am I shooting you between the legs, maybe? I didn't mean to do that. 
Ah, oh, that radar station looks so inviting. Let's destroy it. No, we can't. That's a bit sad. Maybe we can fire off something else. I do have other things I can fire. I'm not sure what everything does because it is all a little bit of a mystery. The manual isn't super clear about things as usual, but it's pretty decent compared to many other manuals, so I shouldn't complain too much about that, I suppose. Anti-radar missile scooped. Yeah, I like scooping things. Yeah, this is not a bad game. And uh, I think I would have enjoyed it more if I understood it better, but I'm sure you can get into it. And maybe if you run the emulator a bit faster, you could probably get a little bit of a smoother action going. It looks like they're fighting each other, but maybe maybe that thing I'm firing off isn't a radar missile. Maybe it's a decoy. Oh, no, no, please don't. Okay, that kind of worked. But now I'm not moving, which is bad. The manual is pretty clear about that. Do not dawdle around. I also discovered by accident that if you press F2, you can actually skip to the next level. So let's uh, move on to the next moon and see what happens. It's going to be new enemies, that much I know. Oh, there's a new fancy tank that is very sturdy. And I think I got a bit of a beating there. And yeah, not only that, it's game over. Oh, poo. I also discovered that if you press enter on the numpad, you can go into a uh, object examination mode. You can check out all the, the 3D graphics of the game. It's quite a few. You can spin them around, zoom in and out, I believe, if I could find the key, which I can't. But there's quite a few objects here. And this is kind of cool to just check out everything in, in peace and quiet and not being worried about being blown to bits, so uh, that's pretty awesome. This looks a bit like a Christmas tree. I'm not sure there's Christmas trees on any of uh, Jupiter's moons, but hey, what do I know? I've never been there. This is a neat little touch. The smoke coming out of the chimneys. Also like this uh, lightning thing. And uh, check out this terror. <laughs> It's also a little stick figure. Not sure if this is actually in the game or not, but yeah. But let's uh, carry on exploring Mimas and grab some power pyramids and... Okay, that was not good. That was a mine, I think. Don't hit them. It's bad for your health. I think it's a tank somewhere right now. Yeah, yeah one of those funky looking tanks. Come on, die, please. Oh, man. Yeah, the frame rate does tank a bit when there's uh, many uh, objects up close here. Oh god, what the hell is that? A psychotic accordion. Let's back away carefully. Can we shoot this bouncy horror? We can, but nothing really happens. And there's something firing. Oh, there we go. What is going on over there? Someone is firing what looks like um, the, um, the cannon from Space Invaders. Oh, hi. Please, relax. I'm not even up in the air here. No reason to attack me, really. And I keep missing. It's amazing. <laughs> Please, there we go. And let's just press space to go flying, I think. No, sorry, I can't do that. I haven't grabbed the flying thing yet. Okay, let's check out the uh, the next moon. A bit of an industrial zone, apparently. We've got a nice road system here, too. And, uh, here's a factory spewing out smoke. We can't have that, so let's destroy it for the environment's sake. If we can. Nope. Yeah, the slow projectiles are a little bit of a pain in the butt, but, yeah, what you're going to do? This looks pretty cool. I mean... Or at least it did look pretty cool back in the day, I should say. Frame rate is taking a hit yet again. Oh, it's very easy colliding with things as well without even realizing it. Is that hostile? Don't think so, right? It's looks like some sort of radar thing. Oh, yes. Tank hiding behind a chimney. How very sneaky of you. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a tank? 
I'm not sure what that is. It looks uh, reasonably hostile, though, so let's get out of here. Okay, there's that funky spinning thing again. Maybe it's something I can grab? Doesn't seem like it wants to eat me. Come here. Nope. Yeah, no idea what that is. Oh. It kind of turned towards me when I hit it with my uh, tank here. Oh, it was hostile, all right. Just pretty slow about it. Let's go to Titan and see what happens there. I'm sure this place is absolutely horrific. And I don't remember how far I got back in the day. Probably not terribly far. But the game is quite tricky, but again, I had a lot of fun with it. And that thing is probably not healthy for me, so yeah, okay. You don't exist anymore. All is well. Oh, we've got lightning, I think. That's pretty cool. The sound effects of the game are a little bit sparse, though. I wouldn't mind if they've added some more of them. Maybe some music, too. But, yeah. I don't suppose there's too much atmosphere on these moons, so, uh, yeah, maybe that is just appropriate with some silence. Oh, God, what are you? It's some sort of walker thing that's... Uh, yes, that thing was pretty effective. Murdering me. Let's just back away, could you please? Back away? I think I've... I may have blown my engine. Oh, here we go. Now it's working again. Just a temporary setback. Oh, look at that walker. That is so cool. <laughs> He's so cute. It's a box with legs and a pointy nose. That's terribly adorable. But, of course, it's pretty violent. It doesn't really want to see me keep breathing here, does it? Oh god, there's so many things that want to murder me. Can I just be allowed to get out of here? I have added infinite shields here to make things a little bit more interesting. Let me just shoot you where it hurts, presumably. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. That thing doesn't seem to care too much about me blasting it in the crotch. And there's a cool bird-like thing as well. Yeah, the, the graphics are pretty cool for their time. Let me just back away here. <laughs> oh, look at the cute face of that thing. Sadly, it is now no more. Yeah, the radar missile clearly seems to be like a decoy. Everyone will just attack it when you activate it. But I think I'm going to call it quits and uh, have a look at a couple of reviews of the game. Ace awarded the game a rating of 862 mystery points and uh, they wrote The smooth, fast, colorful graphics help to make a very believable game world. You'll be hooked on this after just a few plays. And it'll take you a while to beat. But it's just lacking that extra something to keep you playing for months. So yeah, maybe this does get a bit repetitive after a while. I, I really can't remember for how long I played it back in the day. Computer and Video Games gave the game a similar score at 83% and they wrote Voyager brings the classic battle zone concept up to date by keeping the same basic formula. Adding hordes of different aliens and play strategies and stunning Star Glider to 3D filled vector graphics. Initially, it's a little limited as you're confined to the ground, but once you've found the skimmer craft, the rest of the game unfolds. It's brilliant! At last, a game that realizes that 3D graphic presentation and complex puzzle solving don't have to go hand in hand. And yeah, this is a pretty decent 3D game for the SD that of course might have gotten a little bit repetitive after a bit, but nice to play something decent. So yeah, hope you enjoy this quick peek at Voyager. Thanks for watching and all that stuff, and uh, as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers!